rewrite this calculation with each number rounded to one significant figure. So step one, whatever numbers are present in this, we should round them to one significant figures. So first numbers present in this are 13.5, 16.5, 18.5, 4.8, 22, 13. Okay. Now we should round each number to one significant figure. To do that, we should look at second significant number. Starting from this side. So first significant number is this. This is a second significant number which is 3. 3 is less than 5 so we don't need to add any number to this. So 1 will remain as it is and 0 in the rest of the places. Now here this is the first significant number. This is the second significant number which is 6. Greater than 5. So we should add 1 to this. So it will become 2 and 0 in the rest of the place. Now here this is first significant number and this is second significant number which is 8. Greater than 5. So we should add 1 to this making it 5. And in rest of the place 0. Now first significant and second significant number is 2. 2 smaller than 5. So we don't need to add any number to this. It will remain 2. And in the rest of the place you put 0. Now here first significant number, second significant number is 3. Which is less than 5. So no need to add any number to this. It will remain 1. And 0 in the next, 0 in the rest of the place. Now we should use these values over here. So now this will change 2. In place of this, now you write 10 plus in place of this 20 by in place of this 5 minus in place of this 20 divided by in place of this 10. Okay. This is our A answer. Next B. Use your answer to part A to estimate the answer to the calculation. Show your working and write your answer correct to one significant figure. So we should calculate this. That is the B1. So let us calculate. So 10 plus 20 is 30 by 5 minus 20 divided by 10. Zeros cancel out you get 2. So 30 by 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 once 3 0 as it is. We got 10. This is our answer. And it is also up to one significant figure only. So am I clear?